If you want me, sweetheart, just whistle. <laughs> Pork chops and applesauce. Swell. <laughs> okay, that's two shout outs. One to Humphrey Bogart and the other to the Brady Bunch. <laughs> I had to. Because this video is about private investigator Bo Deedle. And I thought, hey, you know what? Since he's investigating everybody, let's investigate him. So here's Bo Deedle in the top left-hand corner. Bo Deedle is not very well known until probably Louis Ruella said his name on Real Housewives of New Jersey, but he does have a true crime podcast that he does, and he has been featured in several movies. Scorsese loves using him. He kind of has NYPD detective meets you know, badass mobster vibe, which is probably why Scorsese loves him because that is what, you know, Scorsese loves. He loves like a, a kind of a mobby type personality. Okay. So anyway, here he is. This is actually his childhood home. I managed to find it. Um, he, uh, let's see, there he is, Richard Bodiedel. Richmond Hill, that home was. That's how it looked in 1950. I'm going somewhere with this. Okay, so just trust me for a minute. So Franz Frank Xavier Dietl was born in Vilsack, Germany on August 7, 1909. He immigrated to America in 1923 and married Sarah Sally Tempanero in August 1935. Frank Jr. was born in 1937 and Grace Carol in 1944. Alan in 1949 and their last child, Richard, on December 4th, 1950. After working and saving their money as building superintendents, wow, they bought a home at 9716 124th Street in South Richmond Hill. Richard, by the way, is Bo. Bo is his nickname. So upon graduation from Richmond Hill High School, Richard was appointed probationary New York City officer in June 1969. So he was dealing with, you know, making sure the criminals didn't repeat crime. And he was only 18 years old when he gets involved with, you know, the NYPD in this capacity. Known as Bo, he found a love and married Regina Zelenko in 1973, and he has three kids. He advanced himself in the rank of detective, and he made over 1,400 felony arrests, garnering a collection of 62 NYPD award medals. With on-duty service injuries, he was allowed to retire in 1985, so he had injuries due to being a crime fighter. He still wanted to continue to do more and help the city by running for political office. He started his own security business. He became an expert consultant in making authentic police movies and TV shows, had memorable cameo roles in Goodfellas, arresting Ray Liotta's Henry Hill, I love Ray, I worked with him, and appeared in other Martin Scorsese films. By the way, you guys, Jordan Belford from The Wolf of Wall Street, that movie's based on, uh, used to come to my dinner parties after he had paid his dues to society and I got to know him very well. He is a character. And in fact, when he told me Martin Scorsese was doing Wolf of Wall Street, I didn't believe him. He was like, yeah, and Leo DiCaprio's playing me. And I'm like, uh, okay, Jordan, but guess what? It turns out to be true. Jordy wasn't lying. Anyway, admired and loved by many fans, Deedle is now the host of One Tough Podcast. So I don't think Bo Deedle stayed married to his wife that I just mentioned because in 2015, there was like talk that he was engaged to Margot Urban from the Cover Girls. The Cover Girls were an all girl singing group in the late 80s in New York City. I do remember their music. I went and looked it up actually. Uh, watched Margot teach her daughter, it looks like, how to dance to her music. So anyway, uh, interesting to find him with her. I would say he likes the limelight, right? He's got a podcast. He's on the news. He's making appearances in all these films. He's got a girlfriend who's 
you know, a famous ex-singer and also kind of looks like a housewife. I wonder if she wanted to be on this show. So let's now get back to Real Housewives of New Jersey for a minute, season 13. At the end, it feels like Louis Ruelas is trying to somehow advertise Bo Deedle's name. Now, Bo Deedle's name is in his private investigation firm. What's weird about Bo Deedle and Associates is notice they spell Bo, B-E-A-U, like Bieu in French. <laughs> but Bo's nickname is B-O and is, so I don't know why they call it Bo, like a French version of beautiful Deedle and Associates instead of Bo Deedle, B-O. So it's kind of unusual, but I'm sure there's a very specific reason that he did that. These are some of their services they advertise. Background checks, forensic document examination, surveillance, find a missing person, and asset searches. I got this off the Bo Deedle website. It says, when your safety, financial security, and peace of mind are at stake, trust Bo Deedle and Associates as your private investigator of choice in New York City. Founded by Richard Bo Deedle, a highly decorated NYPD detective, our private and corporate detective agency includes high-ranking federal agents, former senior military officers, security specialists, and top investigators ready to service your needs. From locating criminal records through background checks to identifying financial fraud. We'll utilize our unrivaled experience to deliver the answers you deserve. As a PI, you have to walk a fine line. I've done a lot of deep dives on Anthony Pelicano, actually. Would love to talk to him now that he's out of jail. I would like to reach out to him because he's Boy, he's got a million stories, and I would like to hear him, okay? Um, but what I'm going to tell you is it's a fine line for a PI, fine line. But you got to be so careful because sometimes you can take things too far or you can have too much of a light shined on you. In the case of Anthony Pelicano, he was trying to intimidate Steven Seagal. I mean, intimidate like scary intimidate, and he also put a dead fish on a Hollywood reporter's car to scare from writing a story that was going to blow open some big guy in Hollywood that Pelicano was being paid by. This is the crossing the line I'm talking about. And what Pelicano did is he was famous for wiretapping phones and illegally recording phone calls and then using the information not admitting he recorded the phone calls to give his clients stuff so that they would have dirt on somebody. And that dirt could range from anything from like, you know, outing a married man that he was, uh, you know, in the closet or, or it might be scaring a woman who says that a famous celebrity got her pregnant and wants to sue for child support. Anthony would be your man. He'd come right in and he'd scare her, so she'd go away. The cops find uh, you know, stuff on him. To this day, not everything though. That's why I wanna ask him. I wanna say, listen, Anthony, before you die, will me the tapes? Cause I know you, you have the rest of them somewhere. Cause they never found them all. And they have tapes of everything. Allegedly, this is why Tom Cruise broke up with his wife. Nicole Kidman, wiretapped. Needless to say, he went to jail for identity theft, wiretapping, racketeering, witness tampering, and, you know, I mean, even putting people in fake job positions so they'd be disguised and could spy on people. It's like, it, it was crazy what Anthony Pelicano did. Needless to say, it's a fine line when you're a private investigator. Now the rumor is, and why I'm covering it, of course, is that this gentleman has known Teresa and Louis Ruelas for a long time, mostly Louis Ruelas, not Teresa, but he met Teresa when she got with Louis, and that he might've worked for Louis Ruelas in the past, potentially to help him with some of his exes he was having some issues with, you know, things like find their vulnerabilities to exploit in court cases and make them feel followed, a little intimidated and stuff like that. It's not a good feeling to be followed. Of course, these are just rumors that they were being followed and 
just rumors. But needless to say, it's not unusual to hire a PI when you think something's, you know, wrong if you're, you know, a big corporate player. So now maybe there's some other thing I need to tell you at this point, and then I'm going to read you something that Bo Deedle said that I think slipped by the majority of the Real Housewives of New Jersey fans. So let's think about how Louis calls Bo Deedle out. He calls them out in the finale of Real Housewives of New Jersey that he's got dirt on all the cast and he's hired Bo Deedle. Okay, and then in the reunion, he admits that he hired a private investigator. And I think he probably mentions his name again. We'll have to see, because that's not in the teaser. But there's something that nobody knows and I know, and that is whether it makes the edit or not, there was someone else that was mentioned at the reunion, and it was a publicist. A publicist that Louis Ruelas did a dangle the carrot or barter type relationship with to get her to do free PR work, to basically spread information that he got that was negative about the cast to disrupt their image with the fan base on Bravo. So Bo Deedle isn't going to be happy when that comes out if they keep it in the edit because that kind of indicates that maybe there was a barter relationship of some sort with him. So he technically didn't work for Louis Ruelas in the sense of being paid, but it's possible he did product placement. It's possible that he had a barter agreement, like we'll hire you for XYZ for DMS or you know, in return for that, or maybe he's got somebody in his life that's a fan of the show that would like to be on one of the group events or something. It would be, mean a lot to him. Any of those things could have come into play. Now listen to this ET article and listen to what Louis Ruelas says about Bo Deedle. By the way, Thea knows the girl who's going to be discussed at the reunion that was bartered with, with Louis Ruelas in return for PR services to get bad information out across the web. This is all going to come to light shortly. And I will be doing a live with Thea the night of the reunion if you want to know the, the real behind the scenes story, regardless of what makes it in the edit. You will see enough of it to know that we're telling you what's accurate. But anyway, um, I reposted this on my Insta feed from Your Moms Are Watching, which is Thea's account. Bo Deedle is the ex-policeman that has appeared in movies and TV shows for decades. He's friends with Louis, allegedly dug up info for Louis on the cast. I've known about this for a while. No, Louis didn't pay him. This was a favor and an example of how hard Louis works behind the scenes of Real Housewives of New Jersey, much to the dismay of Andy and Bravo. Because, by the way, Andy Cohen got pissed about this with Louis Ruelas. And why you see him back peddling on Watch What Happens Live and having his lawyer sitting next to him at Watch What Happens Live is because he got in trouble. And it was like Andy was sort of like, if you really did this, if you really hired Bo Deedle, like, I don't, you know, that's not okay. That's not okay with our HR department. That's not okay with Bravo. That's not okay with the cast. Like, we have a problem with this. So everybody had to backtrack. And by the way, so did the publicist. Okay, she was forced to, to write some like napkin note that she didn't, you know, was told by Louie not to do what, what, you know, is going to come out or whatever. But it's all bullshit. So everybody's retracting, but, but they're all on the tit, all on Louie's tit. Now let's get into Bo Deedle. Bo Deedle sets the record straight on Louis Ruella's private investigator claims on Real Housewives of New Jersey exclusive. Because, by the way, Bo Deedle does work with Fox and Entertainment Tonight. He loves them and they love him. Okay. Bo Deedle is clearing some things up. E.T.'s Kevin Frazier spoke with the retired NYPD police detective turned private investigator following Tuesday's epic Real Housewives of New Jersey finale, where he addressed Louis Ruella's claims that he was hired to dig up dirt on, on Teresa Judice's castmates. Tuesday's episode, titled Flappers of Fury, saw an impassioned Ruellas tell his wife and several guests at Dolores Cantania's prohibition party that Deedle knows shit about everybody in this room. I'm not talking like gossip, Ruelas continued on Tuesday. Well, gee, be careful there, Louie, because then maybe I'll stop calling your stuff gossip too. 
Uh, anyway, Ruelas continued on Tuesday, like Bo Deedal, who's like one of the most famous private investigators in the country, one of my best friends, brought me information on each person in this group. There's so much more. His best friend. Well, it sounds to me like maybe he doesn't even need to shout out Bo Deedal on the show for product placement because it sounds like they're besties. So Bo Deedal would do free uh, investigations for him. I mean... Hell, I have friends that are PIs that do free stuff for me because they, they know I'm in a jam with my ex. Deedle shot down those claims telling ET it never happened. The fact is, look, I know Louie and Teresa. I've known them for a long time over the years. Over the years? They only been together for a few years. I've known them very well. I've been to their home for their housewarming of their home. I'm not part of the housewife stuff. Well, you are now, Deedle. Deedle maintained, all I really know is I like Louie and I like Teresa. Now all of a sudden he gets into a beef with his brother-in-law, Joe Gorga, and the next thing he opens his mouth and the brother-in-law knows he knows. Knows he knows what? Knows he knows me, so what's he going to say? So now he's pretending like Joe Gorga is doing this for storyline, which we all know is not true. I got the most famous private investigator. I got dirt on every one of yous. It was all baloney and it never happened. Ruelas, who was in the audience for Judice's appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen and his attorney, following Tuesday's finale, ultimately backtracked those claims, admitting to both his wife and host Andy Cohen that he lied about the alleged dirt that Deedle had on the cast. Because he had to. Because he was getting in trouble with Bravo, and so was Teresa, and it was a big scandal behind the scenes because the cast actually found out way before it aired on the show. And, they, and he said that on the show. I was at the end of my rope, Ruillis admitted, following a heated exchange over rumors that Judice's sister-in-law, Melissa Gorga, cheated on her husband, Joe. It was a long season, frustrating, you know, trying to get married. No, no, Louie, we don't know. We don't know at all. It's a very strange thing to do. Melissa claimed that Judice and Ruelas called Joe over to their house to tell him that Melissa was kissing another man in the back seat of a car. Ultimately, Ultimately, Ruelas said he regrets lying about having information on the cast. As for the rumors about Melissa, the pair both told Cohen Tuesday that they don't think there's any truth to the rumblings. I mean, right, you guys? Like, do you see this? It's like, we think you could do better. You should leave your wife because she's cheating all this stuff, but we don't believe the rumors. They sure the hell believe the rumors, okay? Now, Melissa and Joe um, have, you know, stayed united, and that's great. Whatever that, whether it's true or false, no one will ever know, but, you know, how they feel about each other, and that's all fine and good, but don't buy that crap for a second. Deedle, meanwhile, said he's glad Ruel is admitted to lying about his involvement with the cast. I'm glad the New York Post today came out with the retraction of his and he had this after show thing and he said he made it up. He said, and of course it, it's made up. Look, I've been retired 38 years from the police department. We don't do no scuzzy stuff like that kind of stuff. What? I mean, aren't you on Goodfellas and Wolf of Wall Street? That's exactly the kind of scuzzy stuff they did. But in reality, if we were hired to do an investigation, we'd do an investigation. Read between the lines. If you need scuzzy stuff, we'll do it. <laughs> that investigation to do eight cast members probably would cost him a half million bucks. I don't think Louis going to be paying a half million bucks. I mean, to get real surveillance and all this kind of stuff. But Louis was talking out of his butt a little bit on that one. Uh, a, just a little bit or like totally, which is it? I mean, if you guys can't see the smoke plummeting out of this, even this conversation is like incredible. The former NYPD detective said he even called Ruelas out on it himself. Now listen carefully to this part. And I called him to task. I said, Lou, not Louie, because he's on the Lou basis with Louie. Why would you say that? Oh, I wanted to let them think that I got you in my pocket, Bo. That you got him in your pocket. This guy's got access to federal agents and law enforcement. I mean, maybe this is why nothing has ever happened to Louis Verwellis after the interview I had with David Brill and what was said on that show. And, and then Louis basically admitting that he's trying to threaten the cast. Bo, he says, uh, I got you in my pocket, Bo, and they got to be careful, Deedle explained. They got to be careful. 
It's a show. What the hell do they have to be careful about? No, you don't use me like a pocket watch. You hire me. I do incredible investigations. You want security? You want investigation? That's why I'm around for 38 years, and I'm very, very honored to be here in business in New York City. All over the country, we do investigations and security, but to throw out, oh, I'm going to go get Bo Deedle. I got dirt on every one of you. I go, I got Bo Deedle on you. No, you ain't got no Bo Deedle on you, but it's me. It's funny. He said he got I- a lot of crap out of it. He got a lot of press out of it. Deedle said he was a little upset about the incident and the flack he got on social media following the episode, but is happy that everything has been retracted and set straight. No, because you don't know how Bravo works, okay? The fans are the smartest fans you'll ever meet, and they've sleuthed and smelt the BS all over this. Tuesday's episode culminated in a fallout between, yeah, yeah, blah, blah. This is such next level shit. And by the way, you guys are going to find out on the reunion. I mean, they've kind of like let it slip out a little in the promo, but you're going to find out that actually uh, Margaret's son got sent one threatening email. Ah! Ah! By Louis Ruelas, like that he was going to dig up dirt on her son and try to get him in trouble because he's in like financial markets. I mean, this is like next level shit. I'm sorry. And it's like gangster stuff. And yeah, I know this is New Jersey and stuff, but this is like out of control. And this guy's used, you know, PIs in a really vindictive way in the past. So the cast members should be afraid. Honestly, that's the truth. And Teresa's just too, like, you know, she's in too deep now. She can't get out, even if she wanted to. But, I mean, everybody else, like, they should be afraid, really. I'm afraid even talking about it. But I do it because I'm like, I made an oath after I had my situation that I was going to always, like, you know, get to the truth and really help everyone understand the way things really are so they could, like, not have a clusterfuck of a life like I've had, right? So anyway, (laughs) I'll leave it with you to contemplate. And Bo, you can hire me anytime.